guys Mr. New Mobile here. We got plenty of news about the Apple iPhone 12. Unfortunately, some bad. Please subscribe followed by the bell. Can also keep up on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So this week there's been plenty more leaked to the Apple iPhone 12 series from hardware confirmations really states pricing and site visits. We can run through the door as quickly as we can before get started though please like the video. If you're a fan of Apple iPhones. Let me know in the comments. What version of the iPhone 12 that you're looking for to the most. But the first use of the day is unfortunately a little bit of a shocker question as stated that not only is the iPhone 12 not going to be an LTPO display, but it also won't be 120 Hz. Of course, this only applies to the two more premium models of the iPhone 12, which is the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We continually see leaks of a 120Hz promotion display courses now stated that they can be saving the 120Hz for next year, as they don't want to implement it until they got the power-saving LTP display search analyst Mo. He did start to give up plenty of information for other upcoming smartphones. His initial information was completely wrong, and he only highlights the stuff he is getting right on Twitter. Next up for anyone worried about the size of the latest iPhone 12. We had plenty of dummy models circulating in Mac room as put together a size comparison between all of the recent models we can see that the 5.4 inch iPhone 12 is very close to the original iPhone. I see the 6.1 inch 12 is close to the iPhone 10. The 6.7 inch iPhone 12 Pro Max is very similar to the 11 Pro Max, despite it having a bigger display womanly state that the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 and the 11 negative be the same size Mac room as is pointed out that if these dummy models are correct in size and the iPhone 12 is considerably smaller. Next up we got a tweet from left to drain the states. The two cheap 12s are going to contain 4 gigs of RAM, with the two promoters will contain 6. This of course falls in line with all of the previous rumors and leaks, and was always to be expected from a colleague is confirming the packaging, and instead only can come with the dongle what people were just getting their heads around this analyst Jeff, who has now stated that there also can be up in the prices back rooms have reported that Jeff, who advised not only a we can have those things missing from the packaging. The phones are going to be $50 more expensive than the predecessor and this is for the 5.4 inch model. The more premium models could be seeing much larger increases with the same time. You have to remember the phones are not directly comparable to the predecessors is the iPhone 12. It does have much better hardware and of course it can cost them more to purchase and manufacture. Finally report news is that mass production has already began on the iPhone 12, whether some may be further behind schedule than others. The early reports we had seemed to be correct. It was an antenna causing issues with the premium iPhones we still didn't know if they can be able to increase the capacity to prevent the delays, that looking likely that the too cheap 12 second be on time. The two Pro versions will unfortunately be delayed. The perversion support. Millimeter wave as well as the sub 6 GHC band. This apparently can all phones will still be launched together, and when it comes that scanner. There are reports suggesting that Apple also can be increasing their refresh rates on the latest displays, almost phones have set to 60Hz displays has been changing recently, and Apple is also going to be joining this trend at this stage, we don't know if they can be using 90Hz, 120Hz, or even a mixture of the two. Across the range when it comes to the rear of the device we're expecting a similar camera setup to last year. The more premium model will have more cameras, Manchukuo has again advised that both the iPhone 12 Pro flight cameras are 3D depth cameras, and what Apple uses on the front for the 3D face, and lock the time of flight sensors on the rear. However, use a slightly different technology that allows it to map 3D. They also need a time of flight sensor on the front for the 3D face and lock, while Apple dictates a fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 10. The report of this can be coming back in the form of an in-display fingerprint Apple iPhone 12 series. We already have plenty of information for all four versions to start with with the entry-level model of the Apple iPhone 12, and this is just can be called the iPhone 12 is a 5.4-inch iPhone, with an outlet Super Retina display from Samsung is important to note straight off the bat. This Super no means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but nonetheless it can be an owner display with a resolution of 2348x1080. This gives us a 475 pixels per inch, and it's got an 8-bit color depth, with a have been rumors of all models, having a 120Hz displays. Unfortunately, it appears that this model is only to be 60Hz is to be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, and it can come with the choice of 128 or 256 storages. Armenian frame and of course is the Apple 814 Bionic chip with 5G, support the iPhone 12 is coming with Joe cameras on the rear, and it will of course be shipping with iOS 14, for this wonderful gig of RAM, with 128 storage, is launching a price of $649, this is the Max, and not the Pro Max 12 Max has a 6.1 inch outlet display. 
This again is a Super Retina OLED display. We believe that's now could be manufactured by either Samsung or LG's bow. It did not pass the quality assurance tests. It comes with a resolution of 2532 work by 1170. This gives us a 460 pixels per inch, and again it has an 8-bit color depth to get 4 gigs of RAM, choice of 128 or 256 storage, and of course the iPhone 12. Max is powered by the 814 Bionic chip is. Armenian frame 5G connectivity that uses actual camera setup on the rare for those that want the 128 gig iPhone 12 Max is going to be launching at a price of $749 for those that want the 256 gig version, and the price rises it to $849. Next up the iPhone 12 Pro 12 Pro also has a 6.1 inch display, so it's actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max we do have an improved display in specs. We iPhone 12 Pro v6 solution of 2532x1170, giving us 460 pixels per inch. We are very hopeful of this 120Hz promotion display is still been unconfirmed, and there are few people saying this may not happen. The iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM. The choice of 128, 256 or even 512 gig storage. It of course ships with the Apple 814 Bionic chipset the iPhone 12 Pro is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel frame, and on the rear we get a triple camera setup, along with a light sensor that for the 128GB 12 Pro, it can be $999. The 256. It's $1099 for the 512GB iPhone 12 Pros can be $1299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7-inch outlet display again this is Super Retina display, and hopefully with promotion, we get a 10-bit color depth, and of course, it is manufactured by Samsung to the resolution of 2778x1280. There are few people saying otherwise it comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and 128 256 05 12 internal storage is the stainless steel frame, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the 814 Bionic chipset. This does have 5G support just like the iPhone 12 Pro we get 3 cameras in the rear, along with a light sensor for those who want the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max is going to launch at a price of $1099, if you want the 256 gig version. It's $1199, and for those that want the most expensive in the range of 512 12 Pro Maxes can be launching at a whopping $1399 note is of course important to note that these pricing leaks came very early on from John Prosser is provided plenty of accurate leaks, but also got some of them wrong. Recently he also provided this very early on, so there is a chance that things could change, but personally, I think their lease can be very close to what we see. Overall the Apple iPhone 12 is proving to be a great range of iPhones that many of you guys looking forward to. It's, well there may be delays in the release date. The launch is expected to be on time, and that will of course analyst Manchukuo is advised that this can be to iPhone 12 versions. The small iPhone 12 is can have a 5.4 inch display, the large one will have a 6.1 inch. We then get a 6.1 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro, the 6.7 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Unlike last year. However, the resolution will differ across the range 6.1 inches iPhone 12 will likely have a lower resolution than the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro. Well there are rumors of Apple removing the notch. I really can't see this happening in typical Apple fashion was still expecting a full screen display with the notch top center. It's too early for him display camera sensors, and I can see Apple going for a poly objects from further away. This significantly improves augmented reality applications that allow for more improved portrait style photo and video effects, we'll likely get to see slight upgrades on the other cameras of the iPhone 12, but given the great performance of its predecessor. They will be changing things too many reports suggesting that the two more budget models again have a dual camera setup with the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max can have a court camera setup, with the inclusion of the 3D data camera. The iPhone 12 is of course can be powered by the new 814 Bionic processor. This is actually manufactured using 5nm lithography, which will bring significant improvements. There's a good chance that it will be the first 5nm chipset to hit the market. When it comes around the iPhone 12 Pro Max September this year, given the current outbreak, it's likely that it's again going to be an online-only launch event similar to the last worldwide developer conference. As always, though, if any more information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments throughout. There is waiting for the Apple iPhone 12. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching.